wa mataifa umesema kuwa itachukua takriban miaka 130 kabla dunia kufikia usawa jinsia katika nafasi za juu za uongozi katika serikali mbalimbali duniani. Ripoti hiyo ndiyo iliyochochea mazungumzo katika maadhimisho siku ya kimataifa wanawake huko nchini ambapo kina mama wametakiwa kuwinda nafasi za juu ya uongozi ikiwemo ile ya urais na Yoma Sampao na taarifa kamili. Sherehe ya kimataifa ya siku ya kina mama mwaka huu uliongozwa na mama wa taifa Margaret Kenyatta na ilihudhuriwa na viongozi mbalimbali kutoka sekta tofauti. Kauli mbiu ya mwaka huu ilikuwa ni wanawake na uongozi na usawa katika kukuamua dunia kutokana na athari za janga la corona. Tathmini ya haraka inaonyesha kuwa safari ya kupata usawa hasa katika nafasi za juu za uongozi bado ni ndefu. Ripoti ya hivi karibuni ya umoja wa mataifa inaonyesha kuwa kati ya nchi 195 ulimwenguni nchi 22 pekee ndizo zinazoongozwa na wanawake ilhali viongozi wa jinsia ya kike bungeni katika dunia nzima ni asilimia 24.9 pekee na hapa nchini mambo si tofauti While we applaud the current 23% representation of women in the national assembly we still have more work to be done to achieve the constitutionally proposed Bi Margaret amewataka kina mama kujitokeza na kugombea viti hasa vya kisiasa ili kuhakikisha kuna usawa wa uwakilishaji kutokana na janga la corona visa vingi vya ukeketaji na dhulma za kijinsia viliripotiwa nchini na ambavyo vilitishia kurudisha nyuma hatua zilizopigwa katika kupambana na visa hivyo 2020 was a difficult year for everyone we lost the gains we have made in ensuring that our pregnant mothers If birth safely many women have lost their lives Bi Margaret Aida aliwatambua watu 14 ambao wanasemekana kuendesha miradi tofauti ya kuwasaidia kina mama katika jamii The recognition makes us feel very proud and knowing that the effort we are putting into these women is a, is impactful and that they are, it is a life changing Wanawake wametakikana kutumia nafasi wanazopata ili kutatua matatizo yanayoikumba jamii na kuleta maendeleo. We are no longer flower girls and we do not need to be looked at as flower girls because we know the role we play in building the country, the nation and the family and the numbers must translate to the poverty at the grassroots. Otherwise the numbers will just remain numbers. The numbers will just be Rahab and X and Y. Let these numbers translate into alleviating poverty at the grassroots. Nayuma Sampao, NTV.